Let's get it, boy. We talking about buzzer beaters. So it's five seconds left in the game. You got Harden, you got LeBron, you got Steph, and you got Kyrie. And you trying to win a game, so who you gonna get to win this game for you? So first, if I'm talking three points, if I'm talking one, two, three, a three-pointer, then of course, I'm gonna give it to Stephen Curry. You know the boy can shoot. I'm gonna give it to Steph, he gonna knock it down. Don't really matter, Steph is gonna definitely be my option one. If, if I'm talking three-pointers, he's definitely gonna be my option one. It don't even matter who else is in a, in a negotiation because Steph, he's he the best shooter in the league right now. So it's gonna be Steph, of course. And uh, so my second option. The second option is gonna be Harden. Gotta be Harden, man. Harden, he can knock it down from Trey. He can get open. He creates space with that nasty step back that he do. I like that move that he be doing that. That's real pretty right there. So I had to go with Harden on a, uh, for my second option. You know, if, if we talking three pointers, if I need a three point bucket, I go with Harden for the second option. And uh, yeah, I like what he do. He can he can create space a lot. I like what he do. So my third option, I leave Kyrie. You know, Kyrie, he's a oh, that man is unstoppable. Ain't nobody checking him first off, and he gonna knock a three pointer down. I want. It was hard for me to choose between Kyrie and Harden because you know. Kyrie, he's a pure scorer, so he gonna make any shot he throw up almost, cause that's what he do, and that's what he's been doing. Actually, like y'all, if y'all watching the games, you will see that's what he's been doing. But um, yeah, so that lead LeBron is my fourth option. I pick Brian as the fourth option, cause you know Brian, he ain't really the he ain't the shooter type. He ain't make it. He ain't make a three pointer. Don't get me wrong. Like yeah, he makes he make a buzzer be the three pointer and win me the game. But look at the people I got in front of him. So I mean. Of course, I had to pick Brown for the fourth option. All right, so if I'm talking two, if I'm just talking two deuces, like like one, two, two points, a, a layup, a dunk, a mid-range, whatever, you know, two, uh, just a regular bucket, it don't even matter. You know, Brown is on the top of the list for that. He's number one. I'm giving him the ball first. He better come around and pick or something and get the ball. At the, I don't care where he get it. He better score it because he, yeah, Brian going to get it. He, he's my number one option if we're talking about a bucket, like a deuce-deuce. Yeah, he, he's getting the ball. And uh, so, yeah, Brian's definitely one for that if I'm just looking for two points. That means my second option is Kyrie. Kyrie gotta be number two, man, because, you know, ain't nobody stopping him in the mid-range game. Ain't nobody checking him, period. <laughs> ain't nobody checking him, period, especially if he get inside the art right there. So it's going to be crucial because he either, he, yeah, that boy's dangerous right there. He's going to score. He he real nice right there. I see Harden was pretty from, with that little step back that he be doing. But Kyrie, he got so many moves, you know, you, you don't even know what moves he be doing because he got so many of them. He switch it up every time. That's why he's so deadly. So I mean, my third option. I mean, my third option right there is hard for the two ball. And I, I, you know, I, I put him behind Steph in this in this two ball category because you know hard I mean, he be going up, he be he be a little floppy sometimes when he go to the cup. So I mean, I had to throw him in the third spot or something because I, I just couldn't have him in front of Kyrie. Harden, does, he gonna give me a bucket though. Don't get me wrong, but you know, some go bad in the in the last little three seconds out of the five. He might, he, there's no telling what he might do. He might just, just fall on the ground or something. It's crazy. But, um, yeah, Harden, he gonna be my third. You know, he gotta be my, my third. So, that leaves Steph is fourth. And, yeah, I don't wanna hear that. Oh, Steph, Steph better than Kyrie, all that. No, he's not. He's a better shooter than Kyrie. He's a better shooter than Kyrie, not a, not a better scorer. Kyrie gonna score. So, Steph is four, and I pick Steph four. Cause you know he be he's small and he he get to the cup. Don't get me wrong, but you know when he get to the cup, it, it be a little harder for him to the acrobat. I ain't gonna say acrobatic. That's not the word I'm really looking for. But it's hard for him to finish than it is for Kyrie and all that. But yeah, Steph will get to the hole. And, you know he ain't the type to to, to do some sauce in the mid range game and then pull up or fade or something like that. He mostly gonna get to the cup and then throw that thing up in any kind of way. But it might go in, though, know, so I threw him at four because, you know, that's a good spot for him. But uh, that's really about it. Just let me know uh, let me know your, how, how your scoring options would be if you had Brian, Steph, Harden, and Kyrie. And so let me know your scoring options. It's your boy, Manny Talking Wild. So that's it, man. I'm out.